Welcome back. Welcome back, ACC family. Y'all see what's going on. Yep, we're going to be putting this Stage 3 Pro LS Summit Camp into our block. But along with that, we also going to be doing this timing chain, and we're going to be doing our oil pump. Yes, sir. Let's get to it. All right, family, let's go over the parts we'll be using in today's video. We're going to start with the Summit Pro LS Stage 3 Cam. Part number from Summit is 8713-1. This is what I went with. You don't have to. I chose that. Let's keep moving. We got the cam retainer plate with the bolts. We got the timing chain with the sprockets. We got the oil pump. Why? Because you need an oil pump. Yes, sir. We got the Castro edge that we'll be using to soak this oil pump in. Got to prime it. We got our ultra slick, which we're going to be using on this cam shaft when we install it. Yes, sir. And the only tool we'll be using today is our mighty torque wrench. We got our block. I know I'm ready. I know y'all ready. Let's get to it. Let's get ready to put our cam in. What I'm going to do is take some of this ultra slick right here. I'm turn around for you. We're going to start moving our cam up. I'm just going to put some on it like that. Y'all see it? Put some on now. Start working it around. Start working it around real good. Make sure I'm trying to make sure I get all on it everywhere. Y'all see it? I'm gonna start it in now. I'm gonna start it in there real slow. Make sure everything goes up. All right, stop it right there. I'm gonna put a little more on there. I'm gonna put it over the whole thing like so. Y'all see that? Y'all see it? Y'all see it? I'm just gonna spin it a little bit. Spin it a little bit. Yeah. Make sure it's on all the loads. Y'all see it? I might put a little more on there. Y'all see it? I can. Can't be lubed up enough, you know what I'm saying? Now, I don't have, I don't have my back plate on, my engine back cover, so be careful, because I don't want to push, I don't want to push that cam out. All right. All right, all right. Now, I did end up switching this from that plate I showed y'all in the intro to this, because that plate's supposed to climb with bolts, and it didn't, and this plate was so cheap that I just went on and bought this one. All right. So, put these on, and they already got Loctite on them. They came with Loctite, so. All right. I'm just gonna start this thing up just right quick. Being careful. Yeah, 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 Y'all know how I like to do. I like to do a little ramp. But you know, I ain't gonna turn it up. I'm just fine. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Turn it up. All right, now we'll take our torque wrench and torque that down. We got our mighty torque wrench. Y'all already know. That's what I said we're gonna be using. Let me get this to 18. That's 10. That's 15. So if I add three to that, that should be 18 right there. All right, that's 18 foot miles right there. Let's talk them down. All right, 
We got our camera stock, y'all see it, there it go. Let's get ready to put our timing chain on, so we're gonna take these bolts out the way. Yes, sir. Now, do not push this cam in, cause my, well, if your plate on, you okay. My back plate isn't on, so. Now, let's take those out. I got new bolts for my timing chain. I mean, my sprocket, y'all see it, there it go. I got my chain and my pump soaking in oil over here. Before I do anything, I'm gonna get this sprocket, but I'm gonna have to put y'all down first, cause I need to, I'm gonna need one hand to hold this can while I put the sprocket in here, so I'm bringing it back. Y'all see, I got my two dots lined up. Boom, boom. My Carter key on my pen is facing my number one cylinder. Y'all see my number one cylinder at TDC. All right. Now, I'm going to get the chain. I'm going to put it on, put it on the sprocket, and slide it on the cam, and then tighten it up. So, I'm going to bring y'all back. Now let's see what we're supposed to torque these down to right quick. 25 foot bounds is what ARP say they want these at. Alright, as y'all can see, we got our trusty height torque wrench. Got our trusty torque wrench, we got a 25, which is right there. It should be 25 foot pounds. Boom, that's our 25 foot pounds on there. All right, let's put this all oil pump in right quick. Now, I'm not going to spin it. I know some people do. I'm not. Of course, you know the back faces you. All right, we're just going to get it lined up good. So let's run them down real quick. So it say they want these torqued down to 18 foot pounds. So let's do that, y'all. 18 foot pounds. That's what they want these torqued down to. Let's do that. Torque them. Now, I guess, let's 
flip her over. I'm gonna put our oil pickup tool on it. Oh, she's a roll. Alright. family as y'all can see we got everything we set out to do in this video done we've added the oil pickup tool but we got our cam in we got our cam retainer plate torqued down to 18 foot pounds for those boats we got our uh, timing chain put on we got our marks lined up these timing chain boats that we got from ARP they torqued down to 25 foot pounds yep then we got our oil pump put on, everything lined up. No, I did not shim this. This is not a race car, all right? But I did torque these down to 18 foot-pounds. I put Loctite on these, and these already came with Loctite. Uh, I didn't put any Loctite on these, all right? And, uh, yeah, oh, the windage tray bolts, 25 foot-pounds. No, 28, I'm sorry, 28 foot-pounds, and the oil pickup tool boat, this one says eight foot pounds. All right? Well, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. I want to thank y'all for subscribing. If you subscribe, if you haven't subscribed, go subscribe to you, buddy, man. We're just getting started. We really is just getting started. All right? We got a whole project outside. We got actually three of them. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see them seats over there? Yo, we swapping those out. I took those out the Camaro. Those black ones going in. Yes, sir. So yeah, let's let's get it, team. Let's get it. Y'all share the video. Y'all comment on the video. Fuck, if you ain't like the video, I need you to hit that dislike button twice. You know what I'm saying? You gotta double down and stand on that. But if you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe to your boy. Alright, thank you.